Today we're taking a look at the brand new PBS plug and play streaming stick for kids. Now this comes preloaded with videos, sing-alongs, and games, but if you connect it to the internet, it will get a ton of uh, PBS Kids content, including their new live stream of PBS Kids that they stream for free online. Um, it's designed to be a kids-free alternative. Sells for about $50 at Walmart. I think a few places online too, other than just Walmart. And it, it's been something that I've had a few requests to check out. So I just went, I picked this up at Walmart over the weekend and decided to test it out. Um, it does come with a limited warranty, nothing special here. Pretty much everything you'll say. One, lit, one year parts, 180 day labor, contact. Yeah, nothing special there. So let's take a look at the actual device. Um, you got a um, HDMI extender here, which is pretty cool. It, um, a lot of these devices, especially this one, is pretty wide. Let's see here if I can get it out. Kind of wedged in there. It's a pretty wide, and if you sit right next, if you um, uh, for a lot of TVs, if you try to line that up, you're going to block other ports on each side. That's where this little HDMI extender comes in quite handy, and allows you to easily. Um, connect that to your TV without blocking all the HDMI ports. It does power by a micro USB cable. There is a wall um, charger here. And then there is a remote, pretty basic. It looks like PBS Kids, Home Bun, Select, Up, Down, everything we want. Um, and runs on AAA batteries. Uh, this is actually a car. <laughs> the wheels actually work on that. A little heat pad there. Um, micro SD card slot on the bottom there. Let's see if I can get a better one. And then micro power on the side there. And yeah, so let's keep going here, looking at some of the manuals real quick. Um, kids PBS cart code. Use this code to get this cart at PBS Kids. So probably a game. I must confess or uh, that I don't really, um, know much about PBS Kids website. My daughter watches the shows, but I don't think I've ever been to the PBS Kids website. Um, and then uh, setup. So pretty straightforward, pretty basic instructions. Even without Wi-Fi, you can do the sound, sing along, sound box, uh, experiment with music and sounds, road trip adventure, interactive family board games, um, Rail Riders, Go Wild Adventures, and Scenes, Play um, Around Interactive Wallpapers and Fun. So that's what you can do offline. Of course, if you have internet, you're gonna get a lot more. So that's everything that comes with it. Streaming stick cart, HDMI center cord, wall plug, micro USB cable, looks like about six foot, remote, and batteries. So let me test this out, come back, give you a so I've been playing around with the stick now for a little while and I have mixed feelings. But first, let's take you through it real quick. Now I've connected to Wi-Fi. You can see it shows my local PBS Kids station on the top left. It's got a word of the week feature. I wasn't able to get this work. It keeps airing out on me. Soundbox, um, it's kind of cool. It allows you to have music and create your own kind of music. Slightly Mario Paint-esque. If you were a kid, back Mario Paint music maker. Um, you know, it's not all that different, so let's jump back. The big PPS Kids button here is the back button. Um, sing along, you just pick some songs and words appear on the screen and you sing along to it. The video, I think this is the main one people want. So you got all these titles down here. And then, of course, you at the top, you get a live feed. So um, my local one, Clifford the Big Red Dog is on right now. There we go. Scenes, this one I just find weird. It's just like wallpapers are slightly interactive. Here's the fireworks one that I'll show you in a second. So you get this wallpaper here and if you, if it, and if you hit the okay button, it does that. It just keeps launching these. Really not a lot to say about that. They're all pretty much the same. The Adventure Road Trip game is like Candyland a little bit, and as you play around and you roll a virtual dice or a spinner, it will uh, ask you to do something like find something orange, and it's not on the screen. Just like find something orange in your life and then come back, hit the OK button and say you did it. 
So parents will have to play along to make sure the kids actually do what this tells them to do. Rail riders, um, it's just a train that goes along. Every now and then it will say, find the fox in the picture. As the train drives by, you look for a fox and I guess when you find it, you say, yay, I found it. Um, so yeah, let's see if this loads. Here we go. And you see, I'm not touching anything, doing anything. This is just kind of what it does. Oh wait, shouldn't any second ask you to find something. There you go. Find the radio. Oh, there's the radio. Found it. Hit the OK button, there it is. So it's kind of a finding game. At least that one's a little bit more interactive. And that's everything. Um, this is a pure Android. It's all based off of Android. I find it to be slightly clunky. Um, connecting Wi-Fi was kind of weird. It showed the, oh, I have a lot of Wi-Fi networks around my office and it showed them all out of order. Even though mine was the most powerful, I had to scroll way down to find it. It wasn't very intuitive to do that. Um, let me uh, go into settings real quick. You do have some ability here to change which station. I kind of live in the middle of a cell. Check for updates and so forth. So it's nice. My thing is, I'm not, I don't think it's worth 50 bucks. This is like a $20 streaming player. When you could buy a Roku um, for, for less and have it do, have the PBS kids on it, I don't think this is worth it. The games are cool, but not cool enough. The offline feature is the biggest seller for that, but not worth 50 bucks. Um, so I have to give this a, you know, if you really want to make sure your kids weren't getting into anything naughty, uh, this is the player for you. The games are kind of silly. My four-year-old daughter kind of was like, eh, to this. Um, so I'm mixed on it. I like the concept. Um, I don't like the $50 execution for this. If they want to keep it at 50 bucks, I think there needs to be more here. And if not, a sub $20 streaming stick here is the sweet spot on this, I think. Um, and you will probably find this in the discount bin soon. Questions, comments, let me know. Hopefully this video helped you make a purchasing decision. If so, give me two thumbs up. I, I mean, I like it a lot for you know the access to the PBS videos. But I struggle because I can buy a $30 Roku Express, get same quality image, put the PBS Kids app on it, and still have access to a ton of other content. So that's my main thing. Just to be clear, why I'm not all that thrilled, it's mostly the $50 price point on this. So yeah, questions, comments, let me know. Please subscribe, please hit like of this video if we helped you. We do regular cord cutting reviews, how-to videos, Q and A's, doing our best to help you get the most out of your cord cutting experience. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe.